So Python also has, we use it on the last exercise, but now it's time to explain it, what a function is. So we've been using for a long time, or not for a long time, but in the previous exercises, we've been using stuff like this, like random, import random. And then we would say something like print random dot random. And that will imprint us always a, a different decimal number. So that's a function that returns a, a random number. And it's a function because it has a parenthesis like this. Print also is a function. So, and you're used to calling functions like this. You would say uh, random, and then you will put the parenthesis like this. But what if what if you want to create your own function? So instead of just putting it like that, you would put definition at the beginning. So definition. So you're saying I'm defining random. I'm not using it. I'm defining it. So that's how you create your own random. And of course, you wouldn't have to stop importing this one. And then I create, I can create my own random. So I could say that my own random, it's going to be always returning, return five. And it's a hard coded random. And I can just print here, random, and run it. And you'll see that it will always return, if I do it right, right, because I forgot the colon, it will always return five, five, five. So it's not really random. So that's how you define the function. Like you would do it the same way you call it which just put in the name of function and parenthesis, but you will also put the F, the EF at the beginning to say that I'm defining it. Also, I wanted to say that you can pass arguments. Like for example, you could say here A, B, C. You can call it however you want, for example, uh, uh, and you will receive them here. Like, let's say that I'm, I'm gonna return A plus B plus C. So if I now call random and I say one, two, three, it should print, it should give me back like one, three plus three, uh, it would be six, the, there it is, six, look. Because it's grabbing A, B, and C. And I can name it however I want. This instead of being A, it could be two, T, U, it could, this could be Ma, and this could be Po. And then I will have to put here Ma and Po. And it's still working, you see? Okay, so we have to write a function inside my code, my main code. So let me reset the exercise. So here in my main code, we have to use the function is odd that is defined at the beginning of the code to call the function passing in the argument this one. So let's do it. I'm gonna say is odd the same way, but calling it. I will not put the DEF here because it's already defined, right? It's here. So I'm just going to say is odd and then the parentheses and I will pass this number. This number will now be my number inside and it will uh, take the module of, it will calculate the module of it and if the module is different than zero, then it's odd, right? The, the number that I pass is odd. Let's see. So we have to use the, print, the function print as well. and print the result in the console. Yeah, I forgot that last part of the exercise. So I gotta print here the result. So let me see, let me say res or result. It doesn't really matter the name. And, and see if it's being printed. So nothing is being printed because no one is calling my main, uh, my main code. So my main code, I have to call it like this. And let's see, it's printing through, you see? So it is on, and it is, so that's, that's okay. Now if we test it, everything is amazing.